Welcome viewers, nestled in the North Atlantic Ocean, Iceland's history unfolds as a captivating narrative of resilience, cultural evolution, and natural wonders. From the island's early settlement by Norse explorers to its modern identity, as a progressive Nordic nation, Iceland's story spans over a millennium. In this video, we delves into the multifaceted history of Iceland, exploring its geological origins, Viking sagas, periods of foreign rule, and the remarkable journey towards independence. Iceland's history is deeply intertwined with its geological foundations. The island is a product of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a divergent tectonic boundary that bisects the Atlantic Ocean. This unique geological setting has endowed Iceland with dramatic landscapes, including geysers, hot springs, and glaciers. The island's volcanic activity, while posing occasional challenges, has also contributed to the fertility of its soil. The recorded history of Iceland begins with the arrival of Norse settlers in the late 9th century. Led by Ingolfur Arnarson, the first permanent settler, these pioneers navigated treacherous seas to establish farms and communities. The sagas, epic tales of heroes and adventures, provide a window into this early period. Written in the Old Norse language, the sagas capture the spirit of exploration and the challenges faced by these early Icelanders. The Alingi, established in 930 AD, represents one of the world's earliest parliamentary institutions. This assembly, held annually at Ingvellir, played a crucial role in the governance of the newly formed Icelandic society. Decisions were made collectively, reflecting a nascent form of democracy. Iceland's conversion to Christianity in the early 11th century marked a significant cultural and religious shift. The decision was not merely a spiritual one, it also carried political implications. As ties with Christianized Europe became increasingly important, the introduction of Christianity is often associated with the influential figure of Luffer Tryggvason, a Norwegian king who played a key role in spreading the new faith across Scandinavia. The 10th and 11th centuries constituted Iceland's Commonwealth era, characterized by relative political autonomy and the coexistence of chieftaincies. However, internal conflicts and power struggles began to surface, leading to a decline in the decentralized political structure. By the 13th century, external pressures, including Norwegian influence and the spread of Christianity, contributed to the erosion of the Icelandic Commonwealth. In 1262, Iceland entered into a political union with Norway, a move driven by both internal strife and external threats. The terms of the union codified in the Old Covenant, allowed Iceland to maintain some degree of independence in local affairs while recognizing the Norwegian monarch as the ultimate authority. This union persisted for centuries, subjecting Iceland to the vicissitudes of Norwegian and later Danish rule. The 17th century brought additional challenges, including natural disasters and the onset of the Little Ice Age, which impacted Iceland's agricultural productivity. The ensuing economic hardship and social unrest set the stage for a new chapter in Iceland's history. The 19th century witnessed a renewed sense of national consciousness in Iceland. Danish rule became increasingly unpopular, exacerbated by economic hardships and a desire for self-determination. Calls for greater autonomy and independence gained momentum, with leaders like J. N. Sigurdsson emerging as key advocates for Icelandic rights. The 20th century marked a period of constitutional development and diplomatic negotiations. The Act of Union with Denmark in 1918 granted Iceland sovereignty, establishing a personal union with the Danish crown. This arrangement laid the groundwork for increased autonomy. And in 1944, Iceland formally declared its independence and became a republic, severing its ties with Denmark during World War II. Iceland's post-independence era was marked by economic challenges and a transition from an agrarian to an industrialized society. The fishing industry, in particular, played a central role in the nation's economy. However, economic instability in the latter half of the 20th century prompted a re-evaluation of Iceland's economic policies, leading to diversification and a focus on sustainable development. Culturally, Iceland experienced a renaissance in literature, art, and music. The works of Nobel laureate Halder Laxness and the globally acclaimed musician Björk brought 
Icelandic creativity to the world stage. The preservation of the Icelandic language and a commitment to environmental conservation became integral components of national identity. In the 21st century, Iceland faced both opportunities and challenges. The global financial crisis of 2008 significantly impacted the country's economy, leading to a reassessment of financial practices and the restructuring of the banking sector. Despite these challenges, Iceland rebounded, leveraging its renewable energy resources and tourism industry to fuel economic recovery. Environmental concerns, particularly those related to climate change, also took center stage. Melting glaciers, shifting weather patterns, and discussions about sustainable practices underscored the importance of environmental stewardship for the island nation. In conclusion, Iceland's history is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of its people. From the Viking Age to the challenges of modernity, Icelanders have navigated a complex tapestry of cultural, political, and environmental dynamics. The nation's commitment to democratic principles, environmental sustainability, and the preservation of its unique cultural heritage positions Iceland as a distinctive and influential player on the global stage. As the island continues to evolve, its rich history serves as a foundation for future generations to build upon, ensuring that the story of Iceland remains both fascinating and enduring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the diverse histories of our world.